So today we're playing NBA 2K24 My Team, starting off with a brand new account and using the player market as well as some new locker codes, as well as free agenda packs in order to build a god squad. And we end up with a team with five diamond cards in less than three hours. And obviously this is the Christmas edition of this video. So to start us off, we're obviously going to be watching the trailer as well as opening our starter pack. So the starter pack that we choose is always going to be the Spurs starter pack because there's always a chance we get Victor Wembanyama, who helps with a lot of offline challenges. And Danny Green is probably the best of all the starter cards as far as just very quickly being able to get you some scores. He can cook the CPU. He can hit everything on semi-pro difficulty. So in my opinion, the Spurs starter pack is the one you should start off with now because none of these starter cards are any use in December. Lovely, we got a present event card, which is worth sweet FA. And right, did we get anything else? We got a welcome to my team pack, which I think is literally just Derek Fisher. So we're going to be starting off by typing in every single locker code that we can. So the first one is going to be like past dash present deep way my team. I think this one's still valid, but this locker code here gets us a very nice card. Like it gets us Dar Jaron Jackson Jr. who can easily play power forward or center for us probably will might be third string power forward you know but still like it's not a bad thing to get because again we got no tokens we got no mt dropping on the right hand side for the better player giving us a jaron jackson jr is a perfectly good start so we then type in the two locker codes each of these being two and a half thousand vc and while it doesn't seem like much you can get emeralds for a thousand vc um, or sapphires for 2,000, so you can get a lot of good cheap cards. Cool, so we've got 5,000 VC from those two locker codes, and the guys that I want, honestly, the deal of the day is one that I just straight up don't want. But I'm gonna see if I can get, like, what are the VC costs of these cheap players? So they're 2,000. So I can buy two, I can buy three emeralds, maybe. Can I buy, or I can just buy Nick Claxton. I think I honestly just might buy three emeralds. Were there any emeralds in this set? Yeah, you know what? I actually kind of need you. I need him. The reason is, is that uh, scoring a bunch of points with a Sixers player is one of the challenges that I'm going to need to do later. So I'm going to buy Bang, him, Paddy A, because the other guys, we all have a chance of getting them in a free set anyway, or in a free pack anyway. We then type in the locker code for the Ascension, which honestly, you can get a lot of Amethyst, but they pretty much suck. I want to just get as much empty as possible. If we can come out with 10k from this, I'm happy. I genuinely think bottom right gets you up all the time. Like, I've done that twice now and I've gotten it. So, Diamond Shoe. Well, like, I, the funny thing is, you might be saying, oh, getting a bunch of Amethyst would be nice. I really don't want Amethyst. The only reason I'm a little bit, like, on the side of getting Amethyst is I think that, like, an Amethyst plus... Or a Ruby Plus challenge might help me out a bit, but like, like diamond shoes are worthless to me. Badge award packs are worthless to me. So I literally want MT. I don't care about diamond shoe boosts. Uh, if anything, that takes time. Like that just takes time off me. Vince would be nice, because I like Vince. I think Vince is good. But like, we want as much MT as possible. Uh, Amethyst Petrovich is not really what we want. Like, if we can come out here with, like, seven or 8,000 MT, we're in a good spot. But, like, it's not looking like we are, to be honest. 750, that's what we want. There's, I know there's a 1,500 MT in one here. City uniform. Like, these are worthless to me. So, we've got up to the top board. We haven't hit any of the major MT totals yet. And we're still chipping away. 1,000 MT. Lovely stuff. That's what we wanted. So, maybe we've come out with like 8 or 9k MT. Because I'm not going unsellable base pack. There's about 4 cards that are worth anything in that. 750 MT, I'll take that. Um, Because like I'm never... I'm also not going to get Ewing, so... I think that getting one or two to turn up bottle cards might be the worst. Especially like DFS, who's so, super easy to get. So, let's see. We managed to get 7,000 MT and just open the rest of these packs. Steve Kerr is not a bad coach. Is this an Amethyst coach or a Sapphire coach? Probably Sapphire, but if that's an Amethyst coach, it's pretty good. So after milking what we can of the pre-Christmas locker codes, we end up going to look through the agendas. I'm hoping to get as many, like, Amethyst plus cards as we can from these. We're going to sell in Kobe Simmons on an exhibition. 
226k. Let me grade the three of those guys. So we have to finish the exhibition. Okay, so I need to wait an hour to get that one. Any of these cards that I want, like I want Bill Russell, but I need cards. Oh, I have plenty of cards to get Bill Russell. Two TTO games. Yeah, Bill Russell. It's Bill Russell time. So we started off playing some TT online with the cards we just bought. We need to play this game mode to get Bill Russell, who's a nice center, or if not, we need him for challenges for better players. I just realized I have every single thing turned on as far as like vib vibration, uh, my shot timing on set point instead of put or in, is it on push instead of set point and my camera all over the place. Oh, meter on. You know what? I can probably green. I can probably play on push with meter on if I'm being honest. Lovely stuff. We got one rage quit there and we can finally put our settings on our proper settings now. Okay, Kareem, three diamonds. I'm surprisingly, I probably shouldn't be confident, but I'm like surprisingly confident in this game, to be honest. Like I am struggling a little bit to start this game because there is difference in timing between Xbox and PlayStation. But like I'm destroying this guy just in the overall like aspect of the game. I'm just missing shots. And he hits a white. One, a white that I, I think I haven't hit this month. Like, genuinely, I think I've had 75 whites hit against me this month. It's probably like two a day, yeah. Well, three a day, maybe. Two, three a day. Yeah, but 75 hit against me this month. I've made zilch. There we go. About time we hit one. Come on. Okay, we're starting to hit eventually. Probably it's going to be too little too late though if they can hit a three in his possession. No, he runs at the basket. It's probably the dumbest thing he could have done there. Is what he did. And he left Dyson Daniels, hit his third three in a row. Come on. Got him. There we go. Good job, Dyson Daniels. He won us that game. After winning the two online games, we decide to go and try to start off the season. Rewind players, the Emerald one's really easy. Like, you can get this from one TT offline game by just rack cutting the whole game. Do not want that. I just want empty. 300 empty is worth more than that Series 1 pack. Honestly. Not really getting anything of note in those packs, so. Basically, what we're, we've got from these. We got ourselves the Emerald pack. And we're going to try and complete all these ones up to diamond. See how quickly we can do that. Like, I don't think it'll be too bad. Like, we have six, six hours. So, we might as well get as many diamonds as we can in our team. You know what? He could easily be in our squad. We then needed 27 points with a player. So, I decided to go into the three-point challenge and do this with Terrence Mann. A pretty easy one for a guy who shoots as well as him. All right. We should have Bill Russell here. Shoe award. So, we got Bill Russell. I really couldn't care less. Like, Bill Russell's not the greatest, but at least, I mean, he'll help us getting some things, I guess. So, we then need Cleveland Cavaliers three points, and I decided to use Max Struess for that because he's a very cheap card, like 800 MT for an elite shooter. And after that, we do need 13 Lakers rebounds for the Rui Hachimura challenge to get one of his packs. And Jackson Hayes is a horrible choice, but I pay 1,000 MT for him. And then we end up using Eric Snow because he's great for getting steals in TT offline. And, well... We just needed to get a couple of steals with our players. So in the end, we do score enough with Max Struess, and we get the equal chance with Sapphire. Come on, Cam Reddish. Come on, Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish comes right into my squad. I don't think any of the others do. Come on, Cam Reddish. Schroeder's maybe the worst one, because he's useless. We then move on to some of the 30-point TTO challenges, or TD offline challenges, and we try to get 30 with Doug Collins in this game. Very easy, nice and easy challenge. For the Sixers players, he's very good to get. And eventually, we do get our cards graded. And we finish the exhibition, which allows us to get a start on the Tis of Season Future Packs. Look, we're getting free MT here, I guess. We're probably not getting anything good from this pack. Because, well, much good in this pack. Perfect. So, we did take a break. We did end up spending less than an hour grinding previously for the, uh, like, exhibitions. I just went away from the console to try to let it finish. But we end up grinding for Jalen Suggs. 10 assists for the Magic player is super easy. As well as scoring a bunch of points there with Derek Lively as well. And in the end, we managed to get ourselves a lot of stuff via agendas. And the thing is with all these packs is that you do have to apply the badges. You have to apply the shoes. So a lot of like bronze, gold ones, they're perfectly fine. But what they allow you to do is you have to do all that in order to get the likes of Kelly Oubre. To get the likes of Jalen Suggs. Lovely, we got Suggs and we got Ubre. That's two nice players to get right there. Ubre is not bad, but Suggs is our point guard no matter what. 
So in order to get more Tis the Season Future Packs, we need to score quite a few points with specific cards. So Kelly Oubre is coming in. We also need rebounds, Jackson Hayes, and rebounds, I think, of breakout players. So we try to get them all in the one game right here. Okay, we should have two packs here. So we got a Tis the Season Future Sapphire, and we got the um, Pass Meets Future Pack, which are two really nice things. Two really good packs. So the Sapphire Pack, um, is there anyone? There are good players. Like... It's 4,000 pieces. It's not really worth much. And that's literally the one who stinks. But to be fair, the only one that I really like is um, Shengun. But we got an Amethyst. That is huge. That's not huge. But Darius Garland. Oh, I thought we got OG and an OB there for a second. I was trying to think of who they were. Darius Garland's garbage, man. <laughs> Look, he's an Amethyst for any challenges where I need to score with Amethyst, but he sucks. So while looking at the agendas for the Tis of Season Future, I realize we need Tari Eason. And I'm not playing two domination games for him. I'm going to have to use Tari Eason. I have to buy Tari Eason, which is annoying. Because I'm not playing the two Dom games. Like, I'd rather lose a little bit of MT than play the two Dom games. And I honestly, I should have just bought him the VC at the start. Had I known Tari Eason was going to be needed, I would have just done that. All right, I'm going for the triple-double as well to try to get Jared Allen right here. It shouldn't be too bad. So I'm going to go with the triple-double, which is going to be points, rebounds, assists, and 20 points with Tyre Eason. That's puts me very close to the Ruby. I'm just going to hope that we he misses a lot, or the other team misses a lot of shot with, shots with AD. Okay, now this is huge. This is huge. We might get it. We might get it or we might not. So this possession decides, do we get our triple-double or have we wasted 15 minutes of our own time? No way. No, you fucking idiot! Oh my god. Oh, Tari Eason. My board, that's a foul. That's a foul, ref. Terrible shot. You gotta be kidding me! You've got to be kidding me! Oh my god! This is pro difficulty! Even though we didn't get it, at least we got the equal chance ruby pack. All right, at least we got this pack. At least we got this pack. It's a ruby, I guess. Please be Caruso. Malik Beads is not terrible. I like Tari Eason, but I have to sell him. I have to sell him, unfortunately. I do like him. But he has to be sold. We have to get some cards. His season pass ruby cards. Um... Bob Pettit's honestly going to come into my team, so Bob Pettit, you can, we can buy you. So we go to the easier TTO challenge, 30 points in order to get the triple-double with Bill Russell and hopefully get us Jared Allen soon enough. Oh, I think we have, we've got the triple-double. No, we didn't get the triple-double because he missed the layup. Oh, finally, finally we got our triple-double there. So we then take a look at the breakout Amethyst players. We are not too bad to get, but it is a little bit of a pain getting the 16 assists and the 32 points with different players, especially not the greatest players. So in the end, we replaced Jalen Suggs right here because I was thinking maybe I go for his assists. I decided to go for Amethyst Dunks instead with obviously Bob Paddock getting his assists. So for a while, we're just triangle cutting right here and using Bob Paddock to pass the ball to an Amethyst Dunker and getting our Amethyst Dunks. I mean, it's useless, but it's something, I guess. <laughs> and we got Jared Allen at least. That's a good player. So then we go and end up playing some clutch time offline. We need to play, I think it's two or three games of clutch time offline. And depending on whether or not we win, it's either one or two games of clutch time online in order to get the Amethyst Plus pack. And it's just very simple. I didn't go into my game settings like outside of my team to put speed up to 100 for it to be quicker. I just went through normally. So I completely forgot that that was a thing, but we did get a couple of easy wins. Oh, and it was bad, but that's a great end of the bench card. And in this game, obviously, you saw in the previous one that we did get a whole bunch of assists with Jalen Suggs. And as soon as we got our 15 assists with Suggs, we swapped and we're starting to get our assists with Bob Pettit. And we got the Ruby Equal Chance Pack. Now, this is big. As long as we don't get J-Dub. Honestly, as long as we don't get J-Dub, we're, we're fine. Like, the other two both make my team. I'm going to use both. I'm going to buy both of them anyway. So as long as I don't get J-Dub. Just not J-Dub. Please not J-Dub. Like, if I get the worst in every single one. Like, I got the worst Emeralds. It was what I needed, but I got the worst Emerald and I got the worst Sapphire. If I freaking get J-Dub here, I'm going to snap. Anyone but J-Dub. Franz, let's go. We have the duo already. 
So we then decided to focus on the Tis the Season Future Amethyst because we could get a really, really good card if we got Jalen Green in that. And we end up changing our squad a bit because we do need to win games with three Amethyst players, and I do have a lot of them in the collection. There we go. We've got our Tis the Season Ruby. We've got Pettit for his assists, Jared Allen for his rebounds. We're good. So this game right here, we end up using uh, Franz Wagner, and he does need to get a whole bunch of points and a whole bunch of assists. So defensively, we just let the other team score, but we pass the ball with Bob Pettit to Franz Wagner every single possession. We needed a Pettit assist, we needed Franz Wagner points. In the end, it looked like we weren't gonna hit it, so we just started fouling our CPU, or the CPU, and eventually we did get our 25 and four assists with Franz Wagner. And with that, we obviously start to go to clutch time online. And I completely forgot that a duo does not count as Amethyst players. They're still rubies. This is not a bad team, you know, we've we put together. It's a nice five. It is a genuinely a nice five. And as expected, we end up facing a God Squad. But like when we got the one two punch of uh, Jalen Suggs with Franz Wagner, we have a chance against anybody. He's jumping to the basket, Jalen Suggs. Another dunk for him. They're not able to stop Suggs here at all. He's open. Green. Come on, Pat it. Let's go. It's a tough shot if he makes it. You see, this guy can actually play. He's just, he's just not smart. He just doesn't really get IQ in this game. It's a big shot there by Jared Allen. That was completely, completely risky by me. And Jalen Suggs just dunks it past Wembenyama. We missed the layup, but still, that's a win right there. So after that win, we don't actually need to play any more clutch time. So in the end, I need wins with Amethyst players. So I decided to play online right here. Lovely starter squad. And thankfully a very weak opponent in our first game. We hit a shot with here with Garland and it's a very easy win. One win, let's go. Okay, I can beat this team. I can definitely beat this team. The DeJounte curse though is not great. And even though my opponent is running a god squad and we don't start off the greatest, we do end up coming back quite well. And Darius Garland ends up playing very well for us, surprisingly. Maybe Darius Garland's not that bad. Or maybe he's not bad. He's got 13 points in this game and he's cooking his Anthony Edwards. I actually had the open jump shot there that I didn't take. But he's going to make the layup. Good job, Jared. Or not Jared, Alan, Darius Garland. That should be. I don't really care. We got the win there. Lovely. Amethyst plus unsellable right there. We're one rebound off another Amethyst pack as well. So let's see who we got in the first Amethyst unsellable. So like ideally, if we can somehow get a diamond in this, we're in unbelievable shape, but it's almost certainly not a diamond. All the diamonds make my team. It's an Amethyst. Who do I want? Probably Wiggins maybe? Anyone but Randall, to be honest. Cause like even Austin Reeves gets me a, Wiggins works. I was about to say, it's either Wiggins or Austin Reeves. Wiggins is the best, and Austin Reeves gets me a duo, so that's fine. We then get our last rebound in the first possession and then spend the rest of the game doing what we used to do in Season 1, shooting the CPU's face with Cock Warver. Okay, so we've genuinely got, like, we're three hours in. So it's actually not bad. Three hours of playing in. I've got three hours tomorrow to earn MT. But right now we get an unsell pack. Is it even worth playing three hours tomorrow? Or do I just end it and make the team after three hours? <sighs> no point guard, no Scoot Henderson. No Scoot Henderson. It helps me so much if this is Opera and Shangoon. Or not Opera Shangoon, Jam. Yes! Let's go! It means I can get Opera and Shangoon. I misspoke, but it means that I get my freaking diamond duo. Oh no, I need to get Nick Clax and I do need to get other players, so. I'll play probably an hour tomorrow, maybe? But right now, player market. Where is he? Sohan. We're not Sohan, uh, Shangun. Alper and Shangun in there with Jalen Green. And so right now our team, let's see who we have. Obviously Wiggins is coming in. Jalen Green, like he's not coming in. Garland's not coming in, I don't really care. Uh, Franz, Pettit, Suggs, Shangun. So like right now, we're going to start with the four diamonds, obviously. Or do I start with the four diamonds? You know, I'm not going to start. With the f I'll start with the four diamonds just for the laws. He's like, if I can start four diamonds, that's just insane for three hours. Like, 
So we'll start with the four diamonds and then who still has, who are there still spots being saved for? Jared Allen's going to start for now, but we're obviously going to put, obviously going to put Claxton in there. Bilal at the end of the bench. And that's literally what it's going to be. You know what? I need to see how much I get from just selling my useless players that are tradable. So like all guys that I'm done with, let's see how much I can earn. So I might be able to earn a little bit. Like I'm done with him. I'm done with Max Struess. Jeez, I didn't realize I get that little for Max Struess. Well, I got a bunch of these. 1400 for Tobias Harris. 1400 for Wendell Carter. Sell all of these. Like they have to be worth something. Are all of these combined going to be worth? I don't see it. I don't see all of these combined being worth another 4... I need another 4k. 900. I don't even need to play any more games. I can get my two guys that I want. I need 21,600. So, he sells. That should be... That should be me good. That should be me genuinely good in four hours. That's madness. That is madness. And we have the damn Christmas code player. Four hours and like... Or not even four, it's three hours. Three hours and like, wait two days. My collection, just get them from here. It's easier. So we don't have that many of these cards. Like, we're not getting anything good out of them. So let me just add in... Brandon Miller. 10 800. And I like Sohan, but I don't really want Sohan. Past means present. Where is it? Or present means future, sorry. Nick Claxton. Badier is probably not going to be in the squad, I'm not going to lie. Badier is probably not going to be in it because I do prefer. I do think Koulibaly's that little bit better because he played it too. Like, this is an unbelievable team. In three hours. All right, I'm in my parents' house for the very, very last part of this video. So we don't have any empty to do anything. We built this team right here. I have a center, do I? Nick Claxton get in there. Um, as much as I do like parents' man. Yeah, you're coming out for Malik Beasley as well. You know what, Kyle Corbin last year at the bench, probably not a bad idea either. But we can type in the Christmas Day code now. So we now get the ball drop, who I want for my squad. Honestly, I'll take any of them. I'm going to drop it left because I dropped right and I got Siakam and I don't want Siakam. Or do I want Siakam? Do I want Siakam? You know what? I'm going to drop right again because Siakam is a lot better than getting Jalen Brown. I will say that. It's not in beat. I don't really want to beat either. All right. So who are we going to get right here? We're looking at either Drew or John Wall. I don't know which color is which. That's either Drew or John Wall. Either of them come into my team, though. Both of these guys come into my team. So I'm really happy about that one. And it's Drew Holiday. Let's go. So while our point guard position is pretty stacked, I'm going to take out Balal Koulibaly. And we're just going to go for all-around best. So I'm going to actually move the duo to the bench, which is a wild thing. Like, we're going to move the diamond duo to the bench. Because, you know what? Nah, actually, I'm not. We're going to go defense. We got Drew out here on our bench because we got offense in him. A good defender here. A nice popper and a nice backup center. So, like, this team being built in three hours on a Christmas code is not bad at all. A really good team considering how little time we spent on it. And while we do have a little bit of MT to spend, last thing we're going to do is we're going to open the... We're going to open a base pack. If we can somehow get something from a base pack, that would be hilarious. But we're going to finish it off by opening a base pack. And we end up getting ourselves the Mantis Sabonis. What a waste of MT. There we are. That is us done for the video.